Hi guys, my name is Goya. Welcome to my channel. It's that time of the year again. Halloween is just right around the corner, and some of you might be stressing out about what Halloween costumes to wear. Do I go out and buy something brand new just to wear it once, or do I just stay home because I have nothing to wear? Well, how about putting something quick and easy together and still stand out from a crowd? Yes, you guessed it. It's the good old Holly Go Lightly. Played by Audrey Hepburn in The Breakfast at Tiffany's. Now I know a lot of people have done this, but think about how many people are cats, bunnies, nurses, angels, devils, or superheroes. It never gets old. I'm only going to use what I already have in my closet, and I'm going to do two looks. The first look will be this really classic look that everyone does, and the second look will be this look that's also really iconic, but I rarely see anyone does. All right, let's jump right in. I'm going to show you everything that you would need for the first look, and then I will show you how I put them together. The very first thing you need is, of course, a black dress. If you look at Audrey Hepburn's black dress, it's actually pretty long, and it's also made of satin. The only long black dress I have is this long black dress that my mom gave me. It's as old as I am. It's also not made of satin, but it'll do. If you don't have a long black dress, that's okay. I think something like a sleeveless knee-length black dress will do, as long as it has that classy look and feel to it. The second thing is a pair of long black gloves. I bought these gloves from Amazon two years ago, and they've been pretty useful. Now I know most of us probably don't have a pair of long black gloves just lying around the house, so this could be the only thing that you may need to buy for this outfit. The third thing is a pair of black pumps. Audrey's are kitten heels, but I only have these um, black pumps that are pretty high, so I'll just use them. I'm sure most of us have black heels or flats with just a tiny bit of heel. And then we will need a pearl necklace with multiple strands. I've had this pearl necklace for I don't know, 10 years maybe. I bought it for a performance, I think. A single strand will also be okay. If you don't have a pearl necklace whatsoever, sometimes you can get those costume ones along with the long black gloves. And then a tiara. Hers is tiny, but I only have this big tiara that I actually、um, won in a Chinese clean and beauty contest seven years ago. Don't ask me the details, but I'll just use this. If you have something like a rhinestone hair accessory, you can definitely just use that. As for the earrings, she's wearing large diamond studs. I don't have those, but I do have these gold button earrings that my friend gave me for my birthday, so I'll wear them. A cigarette holder is completely optional. You're gonna lose it in a party anyway.、Um, I bought this a few months ago, also from Amazon, for a Gatsby costume, so I'll just use it since I have it. A pair of black shades is also optional because most likely you were going out in the evening and nobody wears shades in the evening. But for the purpose of this video, I'll just wear these shades as well. Lastly, for the hair, you will need some hairpins and elastics. And if you're like me, your greatest loss this year is hair loss. Then a hair donut will give your bun some volume. I'm going to start with the hair because the hairstyle is really important for this look. Mind you, I'm not good at doing my hair whatsoever. This is what my hair looks like 99.9% of the time. It's super long and straight, and I definitely don't have a bang like hers. But we'll make it work. So what I'm doing here is splitting my hair into two sections. This section is for the bangs. I know I look like a ghost right now, but we'll deal with the bangs later. And this whole section is for the bun. I'm tying my hair up into a high ponytail, and then I'm adding this magical hair donut. I'm sticking it into my ponytail, and then I'm just wrapping it around, around, and around. Make sure to spread your hair evenly, otherwise a weird object will peek out from your bun. That's always awkward. And now for the bangs. I'm taking two fingers to roll my hair from the bottom all the way up to the top, and then I'll stabilize it with some hairpins. I mean, a lot of hairpins. It's a lot of effort to have fake bangs. All right, I think that's the best I can do. It's definitely not that easy, but I think I did a pretty good job. Now it's time for the outfit. I just put on this long black dress, and I'll wear these black pumps. I'm putting on my gold button earrings and also my pearl necklace. Now the tiara. I feel like such a princess for once. I'm also putting on these long black gloves. Like I mentioned before, sunglasses are optional. So is the cigarette holder. But I like to get into the character.
All right, now let's move on to look number two. I'm just gonna talk to you with this uh, distracting fake bangs here. I love this look. She's also wearing a little black dress in this look, so you can actually just use the same black dress as the first look. But if you want to emulate it as much as possible, she is wearing a knee-length sheath dress with fringe at the hem. Now forget about the fringe because most of us don't have a dress like that, but a lot of people do have a sleeveless black sheath dress, and that will work perfect, but I happen to not have one. Uh, but I do have this satin knee-length black dress, if you've watched my videos, you've seen this dress 3-4 times in a row. Um, it's not as classic as hers, but it'll still work. She's wearing the same black pumps, so I'll wear the same ones for my first look as well. She's also wearing long black gloves for this look, so I'll just wear these long black gloves again. I know the most tricky part about this look is the hat. I am a big hat lover, so I do have a lot of hats. I happened to see this hat online a year ago. And the only occasion I can think of wearing this hat is with this outfit. Now, a lot of you might say that I don't have a hat like that. And that's probably why a lot of people don't do this look. But actually, if you have a black wide brim hat, all you need to do is to get a piece of long white fabric and wrap it around the hat. This is also just a long white fabric anyway. As for the accessories, she's wearing some black button earrings with pearls. I don't have anything like that. So I'll just wear these gold button earrings again. And like the first look, if you're wearing this during the evening, you probably don't need the shades. She's also carrying some sort of black handbag, so I'll just use my vintage Chanel bag, but any evening bags will do. I'm starting with my knee-length black dress, and then these black pumps again. Now the hat. I kept the bun because it holds the hat up. I'm putting on one glove, and I'll hold the other. I'm putting on my shades as well. Finally, I'm finishing the look with my black handbag, and here's the second look. I hope this video offers some Halloween outfit inspirations for you guys. If you remember the thumbnail for this video, I actually took those photos myself. So next week, I will show you how I take photos by myself. I think it'll be interesting and useful as well. So be sure to subscribe if you haven't. See you in my next video and have fun on Halloween.